I can't believe this is her handwriting. This is a real honor. Like, seriously, this is huge. Are these actually her papers? Like, what she... This is um, Gilda Radner, her voice and her writing. I always felt I can do anything if people are laughing. Actually, I didn't know that I was going to make a film Love Gilda. I do all the volunteer videos for Gilda's Club, which is a place in New York City for people who are going through cancer. That was founded by Gene Wilder and after Gilda died. And then about halfway through the process, uh, Gilda's brother, Michael, who's been a big, huge supporter of the film, gave me access to her per personal boxes that had been in storage since she had passed away. And that was a game changer. I wanted Gilda to tell her own story. That was the most important to me, is that we had her audio and her voice. And I also wanted her friends to give a different side to who Gilda was that she would never be able to tell herself. Like, I wish I could go with Gilda's model of how she lived her life, because it is really difficult when really awful things are going on for you, but Gilda could always find the hope. You know, even, I mean, she was diagnosed with stage four cancer, and that was nothing, and that was many years ago, so most likely she knew what the outcome was going to be, but she really lived her life, and she enjoyed her life, and she traveled, and she was with friends, and she enjoyed her life with Jean, and I just think that, um, she was hopeful. People want to know, well, what made you funny? And I know what made me funny. My biggest motivation has always been love.